three approaches of probability. Number one, subjective probability. Number two, probability of relative frequency. Ito yung example ng probability of relative frequency. Number one, for example, records show that 100 out of 1,500 students who entered in a certain college leave the school due to financial problem. What can we say about the probability that a freshman entering the college will leave the school due to financial problem? Answer. Yeah. Probability of A is equals to 100 out of 1,500 divide 1,500 equals 1 over 15 or 0 0.67 or 6.67%. Number 2. Last year, the efficiency ratings of 406 employees of a certain company were taken and presented in a frequency distribution below. Ito yun, number of employees, ito yung katumbas niya, efficiency rating. Based on the data, what can we say about the proportion of employees for this year who shall have an efficiency rating from 70 to 75? Ito yun, 75. Then, 82 to 87, 105. Kailangan natin. Ayan. Ang sagot ay sa A, 75 divided by 406. Then, yan. Equals to 0 0.1847 or 18.47. B. 105 divided by 406. Saan ang galing si 105? Ito yun. Katapat niya si 82 to 87. Yung sagot, 15 over 58 or 0 0.2586 or 25.86. Number 3. Classical probability. Example, if a pair of dice is rolled, what's the probability of getting sum of 6? Sum of less than 13, sum of 13, sum of at least 10. Yan, ito yung sagot. Um, ito yung sample space. 6 times 6, kaya siya naging 6 times 6 dahil pair of dice. Ang isang die ay merong 6 surface. Yung 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Tapos, yung isa ay 6 din. Kaya 6 times 6 equals 36. Ito naman yun. Um, si A sum of 6. Ilan ba yung mayroong sum of 6 sa kanila? Ito yun. Si 1 at 5, 5 at 1, 2 at 4, 4 at 2, 3 at 3. And sum of 6. Siya ay 5. Lima sila. Kaya 5 ang sagot. Ito yung sagot niya. B. Sum of less than 13. Ang sagot ay 36. Paano naging 36? Um, 6 times 6 plus 6 equals 12. Walang naging 13. Kaya sasama natin lahat. Yan. Tapos ito naman, sum of, um, sum of 13. Tama. Wala sa kanilang may sum of 13. Kasi, 6 plus 6 hanggang 12 lang. Dito naman, sa D, sum of at least 10. Sabihin, pinakamababa yung 10. 5 plus, 5 plus 5, 6 plus 4. 4 plus 6, 5 plus 6, 6 plus 5, 6 plus 6. Ito yun, sama yun, 6 plus 6. Siya ay 6. Kaya nag-anim yung sagot. Dito naman. Probability of A, ito kasama ito sa sagot. Ito yung formula niya. Is equals to yung A. Ano ba yung A? Ito, 5. Kaya siya may 5 dito. Divide by 36. Saan so, nanggaling yung 36? Ito yung sample space. 36. Ito yun. Ang sagot ay 0 0.1389 or 13.89%. Ito naman sa B, probability of B. Ito yung formula niya. Ang sagot dito ay 36. 36 divided by sample space equals 36 or 1 or 100% ang sagot. Dito naman kay C, ang um, sagot dito ay 0 divided by sample space equals to 0 or 0 percent. Dito naman kay D, ay 6 ang sagot. 
Ito yun. Kaya, 6 divided by 36 or 16 or 0.1667 or 16.67%. Ito naman tayo kay B. A box has 3 red, 4 green, and 6 yellow balls. If a ball is drawn from the box, what is the probability that A. It is green, B. It is not red. Kaya natin si A. Ito yung sagot niya. Probability of A, yung formula niya, si A. Paano naging 4? It is green. Kinuha natin yung um, yung green. Apat. Sabi nga, what is the probability that it is green? Kaya ang kailangan natin kunin ay si green. Kaya siya naging 4. Divide by 13. Saan ang galing yung 13? 4 plus 6, 6 equals 10, plus 3 equals 13. Nilad natin silang lahat, kaya naging 13. Ang sagot ay 0.3077 or 30.77%. Ito naman tayo kay B. It is not red. Kaya tatanggalin natin si red. Kaya mayari, 4 plus 6 equals 10. Divide by sample space ay 13. Yung sagot, 7692 or 76.92%. Addition rule, the event that at least one of the events, A or B, will happen. A, union of B. And for non-mutually exclusive, ito yung formula. For mutually exclusive, ito yung formula. Example, consider the activity of rolling a die. Let A, B, and C be the events of getting an odd numbers, even number, and perfect square respectively. Determine the probability of getting an odd or even number. Ito. Ang sample space natin ay 6. Paano naging 6? Yun yung surface ng die. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. ba ang odd number sa dies? Siya ay 3. Paano naging tatlo? 1, 3, at 5. Even number, tatlo din. 2, 4, and 6. Ang perfect square, ay dalawa lang. Paano naging dalawa? Ang perfect square, yun yung kapag minultiply mo, halimbawa, 1 times 1 equals 1, 2 times 2 equals 4, 3 times 3 equals 9. Ganun. Kaya kasama si 1 at 4. Um, para kay A, an other even number, ito yung kanyang sagot. Ito yung formula niya. Ayan. Sama ito nasa taas. Then, 3. Ito yung add number. Divide by 6. Sample space yun. Then, 3. Ito si B. Ito yun. Siya yung even number. Quals 6 over 6 or 1 or 100%. Ang tanong kanina, what is uh, determine the probability of getting an odd or even number? Yung dice ay 6 surface. Lahat yun, odd or even number. Kaya siya naging 100%. Dito naman kay non-mutually exclusive. Uh, dito naman sa B, siya ay non-mutually exclusive. Paano nangyari yun? Kasi sila ay may pagkakaparehas. An even number or perfect square. Ano ba yung pagkakaparehas nila? Ito, pagkakaparehas nila ay si 4. Parehas silang may 4. Yan. Um, ito, kailangan natin ay even number. Ang even number ay 3. Tapos dito naman si perfect square 2 minus 1. Pa, saan ang galing yung minus 1? Ito yung um, pagkakaparehas nila. Ano ba yung pagkakaparehas nila? Si 4. para silang may 4. Yung pagkakaparehas. Ilan yung pagkakaparehas nila? Isa lang. Kaya, may 1 dito. Um, 3 plus 2 equals 5 minus 1 equals 4. 4, 6 or 2 third or 0.6667 or 66.67%. Yan. Yeah.